What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a little bit different. In today's market analysis, I do go over my morning session, but there is no afternoon session. Rather, I recorded the during the session because I got home into my home office a little bit earlier. So I thought, why wait to, you know, two, three more, more hours? Why not record during the session video so that you can see how the day goes? With that being said, Stay tuned and check it out. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and to my daily Forex market analysis. I do this twice per day. Then I combine the videos into one video. This is my morning session. It's three, three in the morning and 15 minutes GMT time zone. And I just sit sat in front of my pc so let's just go straight to the analyzing the market so as you can see i will go over my six pay portfolio yesterday i ended up a video saying that i made my first live mistake taking this big ass bad pattern because i should have should have done that because this here x to a leg has more than 100 candles and from from my back testing i know that uh, this I was not taking this kind of patterns, this kind of a big pattern. This is actually a pattern on hour four. So basically nothing for me. And on this pair here, since then nothing much has changed. Besides, there is actually this. If if you would like to if you like to trade this kind of stuff. Uh not sure am I gonna trade it. Uh probably am. But we will see uh if the price comes here or not okay so that's the only thing that i'm watching here on this pair right now at this point i will remove the big pattern here and just focus on this small one right there then we have aussie cad since yesterday nothing much changed uh yeah the pair has been moving in this ascending i don't know wedge or something it is a big wedge i don't see any patterns here that i could trade so there that's it for that's it on this pair for now. Aussie is the yeah nothing consolidation. Well, there is still if you look at it, there might this might be a triangle of some sort. Uh, I still am expecting somehow because I made a bet with my friend that this might go up or down. I don't know, but I, I said because of a pattern that's that 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 is here, the bad pattern that is here. I said that this might go up. And what, what I'm seeing is still this. So only because of it, I'm expecting price action to go at least to this some point, uh, the price point of 38.2. We will see what's going to happen. But, you know, you never know with, you know, you never know in Forex. You just make educational uh, bets of some sort where you know that you have statistical edge over the market. That's the whole point in Forex trading. Euro dollar trade from yesterday. We are still in the trade, uh, hoping that it will go up and hit my targets one at least so that I can trail my stop loss to break even. Uh, it did not violate the X point. I don't want to say that I'm confident in it because anything can happen. But, but I see huge bullish candle, bullish engulfing candle, a lot of small candles. So that on a, on a lower time frame, this might be some kind of a uh, some kind of a flag pattern so we can check it out as well uh, on a smaller time frame uh where is it yeah so it can be a flag pull and a bet and a flag pattern so who knows a lot of things can happen we will definitely see as the day goes by pound dollar since yesterday nothing here nothing uh, this would not be a x point for me so i will not draw draw a new uh yeah a new uh what do you call it pattern no i will just wait maybe if we if we get something like this i'm not sure are we but yeah let's see cypher yeah i'm not trading cyphers on this pair yet i'm about to start testing them uh this month and wrap it up this month but so far i'm not interested in anything on this pair whatsoever okay and we have a pony and again another trade that we got engaged with uh, yesterday and uh, still waiting for the price action again to hit my targets one so that I can move my stop loss to break even 
and let's stay for target two. I was doing some math and you know checking out how much I might, how much money, how much per, what what kind of, what percentage would I be up if the, if I hit both targets in both positions, and I would be up, I would make probably two percent, so I'd be up around three percent in total, which would be very very cool to be up that much in my opinion in my first month and uh, first week of trading that would be very awesome because my uh, my bank actually returns uh, less than uh, two percent per year and in my first month and month and first week of trading live if this would have would have happened I would I would beat the bank so that would be very very cool but with that being said guys brings me to the end of this morning session Thank you very much for watching it and see you soon in the afternoon session. Bye bye. And welcome back to the afternoon session. So the thing here is that it will it's not actually the afternoon session because it's currently 1.30 GMT time. It's not my usual like after 4 p.m. It's uh during the session. I think that, that that's kind of a good thing because I got at a uh, home and, and right now I'm in my home office. So I said, okay, why not? To record a actual during the session video and then just wrap it up with this because we already got some actions in the we because we already got some action in the market and uh, it would be good to record it so basically in the morning we marked this bad pattern it did not happen it breached out so the price action uh, you know violated the eight points so it's not a valid bad pattern anymore i just want to remove it here right now so that's it aussie cat there was nothing big here for us you know just nothing in the morning as well so we didn't we didn't nothing changed significantly so we didn't get engaged here aussie is the uh i don't know nothing here i'm, I'm just able to trade garclis here and i don't see any any garclis opportunity currently maybe the one is forming right now maybe this might be the Gartley yeah but we will see if the price action comes here I, I can I can actually set an alarm so if the pri price action comes here I'm gonna ah no it's actually another Gartley and this is a good example because if you check out this candle it actually violated this one and I should use this candle as the B point now Okay, so it's an ugly, ugly, ugly Gartley. Yeah, so very good, very good risk to reward actually. So I would love to get engaged into this because the risk is so minimum and the award would be significantly bigger. The risk would be like what? Five pips per trade and just one target would win both both of those risks so that, that's a decent risk to reward i like this kind of a trade so if this happens i'm gonna get engaged with it otherwise i'll just skip it euro dollar still in the trade since yesterday uh we did get a some kind of a we went into green then came back down then again almost at a break even point then price action turned against us now a uh, back up and then again next uh, against us so now i'm waiting what's gonna happen there might be something that you wanna if you're not in any trades here might be something that you wanna uh w watch there might be i think it's a wait i think it's a gartley but let's see is it touching no it's touching 71 yeah so nothing actually just waiting for this price action to hit my targets for what 15 pips or just to st or stop me out for 35 pips we're gonna see what's gonna happen but this is it this is how it looks like right now and then we have pound dollar nothing nothing changed since this morning so nothing new in this pair I'm just gonna skip it pound yen there are a few things that that changed uh, we took this Gartley from yesterday and it actually hit our targets one uh, fairly quickly, just like I was expecting it to do. I mean, hoping to and expecting return and close us for break even for a second position. Although I was hoping it will come up for 20 more pips, 25 more pips and uh, close us out for targets two, which would be healthy. I don't know what 80, around 80 pips plus 
a 4425 pips which is nice nice decent profits now on the radar there is the bat pattern if you are trading bats on this pair i'm not allowed to i'm allowed to only until 1 pm and this candle right there is uh, from 1 p.m. until 2 o'clock, which I'm not, uh, if this one, I'm not allowed to trade it anymore. So even if this uh, gives me an entry, I won't be engaging. That's why I'm not setting my pending orders. Uh, with that being said, we are done with all of my pairs, still holding Euro dollar trade, hoping it will close now for targets one or uh, targets two, so that I can just at least put uh, remove the risk from the trade and put my stop losses to break even and see what's going to happen from there. This is it. This is a trade. It takes sometimes, it takes a long time. I've seen that in my backtesting. Nothing unusual here, but... It is what it is. With that being said, thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.